Welcome to another episode of Power BI. Uh, tonight I want us to talk about um, adding your data points, map data points, uh, or location data points on a map. So usually what happens is uh, when you go ahead and throw in a map on a Power BI, uh, Power BI is usually smart enough to identify that um, uh, you're using a CD state and zip code and it will automatically try to map those locations for you. So if I go ahead and throw in my CD here, and then I'm gonna come in and throw my state and I have zip code further down here. So you will notice that Power BI, um, that's because it added it as um, latitude. So I actually do need to move those things into location. So you will notice that Power BI is actually putting all that stuff uh, in different locations. So what Power BI does is actually uh, looks at the familiarity of the city and even though we have a city called Georgetown in Texas, um, the one that we have here in, um, I believe that's whichever that country is, it's much more familiar, uh, or it's much more popular uh, than what we have in state of Texas. Uh, so the other thing that I've seen people try to do is to actually create a hierarchy and to create a hierarchy in Power BI is pretty easy. It's just dragging columns down to um, on top of each other and that will create hierarchy for you. And then they try to implement that as the process of uh, creating uh, or mapping these uh, location data points. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually drag my hierarchy in here and you will see that the problem persists. So it doesn't matter what I do uh, with this guy here, uh, I'm still gonna end up with the same uh, pieces here. Um, so the way we go about fixing this is actually pretty easy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here and do edit queries. And then on edit queries, I'm gonna navigate to my uh, table here that has all my data. And on my data here, I'm gonna add a new custom column. And my custom column is going to be uh, compiled based on CD state zip. So these three fields that we have here. So I'm gonna go ahead and concatenate them. So we're gonna do that and then comma and then and and we're gonna add a state. And then we're gonna do and then we're gonna concatenate this guy with that. And then and go ahead and pull in our zip code as well. So we have our city and then we've concatenated that with our state and we've concatenated that as well with our uh, zip code. And then we're gonna call this guy here, our location. And I'm gonna go ahead and do okay. And you see here that actually now my location is compiled uh, based on uh, the state, uh, the city state and as well as the zip code. So I'm gonna go ahead and navigate over uh, to my map and it's gonna go ahead and apply my model. And then I'm gonna go ahead and instead of using now this, I'm gonna look for my location and um, I have two. One of them has a space, that's the reason why. And I'm gonna go ahead and take out the hierarchy that we had. So this data now is gonna render and you see that now based on the data that we have, uh, because we are aligning the city state and zip or coming in from the same uh, location uh, or the same column, it's actually now mapping it the way we want. So everything now lines up uh, to the state of Texas and you can go ahead and do other few things that you can do with the map. Uh, let's say for instance, like uh, the uh, the sizes so for this one here as I mentioned was data for um, health facilities so now I can start doing things like color saturation sizes and all that good stuff so uh, some um, just to make them um, a little bit more visible uh, so that's how you actually and we can change the color here it will be your diverging color so this is where you would change it. So let's say for instance, my diverging is coming from uh, red to green. So I can pick up my red uh, all the way to my green and I can even have another set of colors as well uh, by enabling the 
divergence so that I can have that middle tier color. So um, then you can define how you want to do your minimums and maximums. So this is actually uh, the whole point of this was to show you how you get the locations on a map. That way it's not overflowing to other data points where you don't want it to be. And as you can see, it's, it's pretty easy and pretty straightforward. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to, le to leave a comment down below and we will surely be able to get to you or just um, reach us with any means with even Twitter and we'll be able to respond to you. Thank you so much and enjoy some Power BI.